Abdin, man, why don't you just wear contact lenses or why don't you just get LASIK eye surgery? Right, I don't want to wear contact lenses because they damage my eyeballs. I don't want to mess with my eyeballs. My eyeballs are already messed up, you know, and I'm not going to get LASIK eye surgery, bro. I'm not going to, I'm not going to risk that. You know when I'm going to get LASIK eye surgery? I'll get it, right, when I'm really an old man. I've got proper bad vision and I just can't see anything at all. That's when I risk uh, getting LASIK eye surgery because I'll get blinded. Yeah. blinded. It costs 4,990 quid. Okay, have you guys got what you wanted? All right then. Salutations people, how you guys doing? So I basically got implantable contact lens surgery. I got it back in June time. Obviously it's August right now. And I've got it and I'm really happy that I did it. And I haven't really explained this to YouTube, but I was doing therapy. I was doing therapy and in my therapy, I realized that I need to like treat myself better, start trying to save people, all that kind of stuff. And one of the things that my therapist Anna was saying was the fact that I need to treat myself. So, and I'm just like, oh yeah, yeah, I do treat myself, you know, I usually get myself new lenses, new camera stuff, equipment and all that. But she's like, treat yourself. So what I do, I fix my eyes. So <laughs> a few months ago, I went for a LASIK eye consultation in Optimax in uh, Manchester. After that consultation, I, uh, they told me that my eyes weren't suitable for LASIK eye surgery since essentially I've got the eyes of a pensioner um, with eyeballs. We've got like cell counts and um, for a young adult or adults in general, they're supposed to have like a, a 3000 count for their cell count. I've got two, around 2000, which is like the cell count of a pensioner. They said they couldn't exactly do LASIK eye surgery for myself just because um, it's already low. And you know, with LASIK, they basically sort of laser off the, that, that layer off down there. And they couldn't really do that. But they gave me an option of ICL which is an implantable contact lens surgery. And I was like, I don't know what this is. What is this? I never heard of this before. They explained what the procedure is to me in a clear, concise way, which is basically with the ICL surgery, it is, um, it is the most terrifying experience ever for myself. And I've had heart surgery, you know? But it was really quick, it was like a 30 minute procedure. And um, there was like four songs on the radio. There was like Adele. That one, there was Michael Jackson, right and there was two other songs which I can't remember. And some adverts, and the surgery was done. It was really uh, quick. The consultation itself was free, but they did ask for a ten pound booking fee or whatever. And after the consultation, you get a ten pound back if you decide that you don't want to follow on with the procedure. Because I realised that my my eye health was depleting in general. I was just like thinking to myself, oh, you know what? Screw it. You know, my dad's got a cataracts, but it's been confirmed now at the age of 57, but apparently he might have had it like a few years ago. And according to my eye health, I might get like cataracts when I'm like in my forties or something along those lines. So I thought, screw it. I've had a good, I've had a good life in terms of like seeing stuff. So I might as well just like, um, give it a go. Once you get your booking date sorted out, they, they check you out in terms of you book an appointment and then they want to basically see like your eyeballs and eye, eye health and then they dilate your pupils and all that kind of stuff itself. On that day itself, once you've got the the, the drops in your eyes, your, your pupils get dilated, it's quite tricky to see close up. For myself, I couldn't read my phone. I had to just be like this all the time. I couldn't really see it at all. So I'm in the, got loads of eye drops in. I don't know if you can tell. The, the procedure itself, I said it was quite quick. They don't provide you with any like anxiety pills or anything like that. So they, they told me I could contact my GP and um, let them know I've got, I've got anxiety. Got myself some diazepam, which is like a Valium, on the, on the day of the surgery before heading to Leeds, where I got my surgery done in Optimax Leeds. I had a diazepam, which sort of calmed my nerves and I was like a bit high as fuck and mellowed, mellowed out. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is ICL surgery done my eyes which is basically implantable contact lenses and they're gonna slit my pupils oh and then gosh. put a special lenses behind my pupils and laser it a little bit so i'm quite nervous about that but i'm on diazepam which is like some um, super high as everything so i'm quite high right now um like dream statey kind of stuff but um Lafa kindly offered to come come along with me yeah because alfred even though like in case was, you die and in case you turn blind. Even though it was like a really early um, um, train time <laughs> stuff. But yeah, we're about to 
into the building or whatnot. And get some new eyes. Yeah. yeah. They're going to probably make you wait outside or somewhere because I don't know. I don't mind because I look, I'm looking in the town. Oh, yeah, look around. Yeah, yeah. Gallery. Oh, crazy. gallery right there. Oh, is that one? They put a lot of eye drops in your eyeballs. For myself, they put quite a lot because my eye health isn't the best or whatever. But a lot of eye drops to numb your eyeballs. You don't feel any pain, but for the surgery, you're laying down and you've got this contraption on your eyeballs, on your eyelids, right? Which is like some clockwork orange kind of shit. It's a mini version. And it's keeping your eyelids open for the whole procedure so you're not blinking. You don't feel any pain. However, you can feel the pressure of them fiddling around in your eyeballs and stuff like that. Um, and you can hear the squelching or the the nurses were very 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 lovely and understanding and i told them can you just explain what you're doing the different steps and everything they might not understand what the hell you're talking about in terms of some of the medical jargon but it'll make me feel at ease for parking or just in general it'd be funny if it's for grocery stuff oh he's gone to york oh, oh lovely the surgeon himself was a bit more cold but i think for him it's because it's a it's a thing he's done it many many times you know it's his normal thing he just wants to crack on with it boom get it out over and done with and stuff like that one of the things that is quite scary like i said in the in the whole procedure you're awake for the whole thing because you have to be awake because if you're asleep your eyes are going to be rolling back and forth and stuff like that so you're awake for the whole thing aren't you so, you know i don't know about you guys but for me when i look at bright lights or the sun sometimes i want to sneeze <laughs> And they've got bright lights and I'm trying to withhold my sneeze because I'm like I don't want to I don't want to sneeze and shake and like you know because I couldn't see the scalpel per se but I could see like a object a blurred object going around towards my eyes and stuff like that and I could, I could see the blurred figures of the surgeon and everything um, around there and so you just have to be super still like because you don't want to breathe so much and then put them off or anything like that because it's your bloody eyeballs and uh, yeah so but they, they do instruct you okay look up look left look right look down okay look straight ahead because we're going to do this or whatever like that and um, once you're done you're able to pretty much see on that day I'll be so very honest with you guys I feel quite emotional just because of the fact that I can see and I've not been able to see clearly since the age of seven and because I was born with like really bad eyes like stigmatism and like my um, cell count is really low and I've had that the ICL procedure and this is the first day and I can I can see the clock just over there and I can read the time look in the mirror right now and I can see my um, eyeballs my pupils I could see my teeth, whereas before I wasn't able to see my teeth without wearing my glasses. I could see the actual texture of, of, of the towel. So um, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to having that, you know, that newfound freedom. Um, yeah, um, it's really cool. I could read the Aquafresh on, on, the, on the, you know, just over there. And then they did my right eye first and it was fucking scary. It was terrifying. I was so scared. It was a good job that I was on the diazepam, which kind of, Valium, which kind of calmed my nerves down, but I was just still um, like nervous. And then when the nurse was like talking through what she was doing and what the doctor was doing, the, you know, the eye surgeon, I felt a bit better. And then when it came to do my left eye, I was already crying. And they were like, oh yeah, it's beautiful. I was like, no, I'm just really happy. <laughs> And then do my left eye and then start crying again. But it was a bit like Amber Heard, where I was like crying, but there was no tears. So, um, because, you know, and then um, I'm getting my tears back again. And I've got eye drops I've got to take on and stuff. But, um, so I'm going to have to look quite douchey with the sunglasses on for now. And then, um, yeah. They gave me a, a bag full of stuff, right? And um, there's the, they gave me a free pen, which is like, yeah, that's worth the money and everything. <laughs> But I don't know if you can tell, but there's a, uh, a a lens. This lens is one of the lenses that is inside my eyes right there. This is the ICL special lens. I'm coming back from work right now. So the sun's already set. Um, it's dark outside. I don't think you can tell on camera, on my phone camera. But my eyes feel amazing right now. I can see really clearly. 
um, it's just really lovely being able to um, see and in the dark and my eyes feeling hydrated after the surgery they tell you that you've got to put these drops in right I've had to do that one uh, every two hours which was quite inconvenient and this one I had to do it every two hours for the first was it two days I think I can't remember from the top of my memory and then afterwards it's every four hours throughout the day my um, colleague and, and friend Ali was like sort of nursing me or putting eye drops for me because I can't do my own eye drops I, I just keep missing I keep missing this my pupils my eyeballs so he was doing it every two hours because I went to work straight away the next day which I shouldn't have but I did do and I was wearing sunglasses because all the lights were very sensitive in my eyes they gave me these eye shields where you basically put it up to your face tape it up and you're sleeping with that for the next week for the week that's what you're doing they just told me that I couldn't be around areas where it was really smoky or humid or like any any dirt around and stuff like that for about a month which I did do for his instructions and everything now I started going swimming which is alright my eyes can handle it and everything they did say during the evening that the lights on the street lights and everything like that would be a bit bright and to me they are quite bright but they look quite cinematic they look like JJ Abraham's kind of like lens flares everywhere so when I'm walking at night time the streets look quite beautiful to me because it's just like lens flare, lens flare, lens flare and that's how I see it like how you see in movies that's how I see it right now which is like you know a, a bit jarring but it's quite nice at the same time but in terms of like everyday day-to-day -day stuff I can actually see which I'm really happy and I'm really glad about the thought of being able to uh, uh, to be able to see does get me quite emotional <clears throat> and I didn't think that I would be able to uh, uh, um, function without wearing glasses and now that I can it's it's quite um, liberating and I do feel quite free people have, have said I, ha I do have a bit more bounce to my step and I'm quite happy about that um, not the fact that I got bounce to my step the fact that I, I do feel quite free in terms of payment they've got different plans for the payment altogether I am paying 4,990 you pay the first grand um, once you decide that you want to do it you pay that first grand, a grand so upfront I believe that's what I did and then the remaining 3,990 you get to pay it in um, installments I decided that I wanted to pay it in 12 months because I didn't want to pay any interest and you know I just want to get it done and over with but I don't mind doing it in installments and stuff so uh, for me I saved up, enough, saved up enough money for that and it's quite doable for myself uh, financially so um, there's that and I get it it's quite a, a pricey a pricey kind of uh, procedure and thing but I like I usually think about the bigger picture and like to think in the long run and uh, myself being an actor I've been to that place where I've gone to auditions and stuff and they've, they've told me to get my glasses off and I have but then they want me to like read off the script and I'm like I can't but then you know it, it is that thing and obviously uh, since acting is my career I want to pursue that properly and um, in terms of even day to day life as well you know I've had that thing where um, sometimes my glasses have fallen off my face or it's broken and stuff and then I've had to just use my phone as my eyes and use the camera on my phone and just like go like that I've done that once before unfortunately they the, the Optimax couldn't guarantee me um, a lifetime guarantee uh, since my eye health isn't the best but they said about around, around 10 years or so but I know in 10 years time um, I know um, eye technology will advance you know this whole ICL procedure apparently was done over 20 years ago I had heard nothing about it you know and I was joking to the um, the lady who was doing my eyes I, I said uh, oh I bet you next thing you know they're gonna have like nanotechnology in the in the bloody uh, contact lenses and then she just sort of smiled she went huh, you know the Americans like what because a lot of technology is made or is getting it's getting done it's just that the usually the American military usually have it or they have the funding for it and then they tend to get um, put forward to the public and to the countries later on so it's like with LASIK and ICL that technology was done years ago it's just that only recently it's becoming more and more of a thing my friend Saeed was asking me and the difference between LASIK and ICL is with LASIK once you do it they essentially like laser off that that layer of your eye you can't reverse the procedure right with ICL because they slit that pupil that first bit but they don't shave you off they slit it and then they put the lens behind it pop it back in um, if you want in, in the future to get rid of the ICL or something wrong happens they'll remove the they'll remove the lens free of charge because part of the deal 
um, and then you've got your eyes back to its original self again. Whereas with um, LASIK, you can't do that. Like like eye health in general, your eyes tend to deteriorate with time. So because you've got LASIK, because you've got ICL, it's not like you've got the perfect twin twin vision forever. You know, with age, you might need reading glasses again, um, just with time. And I've accepted that and I know that, I know of that. They, they do advise not to rub your eyes constantly, you know, because that's not, not good for your eye health. Not just people with that stone post eye surgery, just in general. It's quite crazy though, honestly, this whole, this whole thing in general. I remember as a kid, me and two of the girls in class were the only people in, in our class. I think maybe in your year group, but I know in our class actually, were, that were wearing glasses. And I remember getting picked on for wearing glasses as well. And it was like a massive thing. And then, you know, geek chic became a thing and geek culture and nerd culture sort of took over. So that became a thing. But um, for myself, I, you know, it, it is that thing where I've accepted the fact that I wear glasses and that I need glasses and stuff. But now I realize it, it, it does get, it is quite inconvenient. You know, I, I, I always I always had a fear of like, oh, what if I get stuck in the jungle and that plane crashes and get stuck in the jungle and then I can't see because my glasses are broken. I mean, firstly, it's the fact that I survived that plane crash. I mean, like, well done, I've been well done me. Um, but like, you know, that's my one of my concerns, like, oh my God, I might not be able to see where I'm, what I'm doing and stuff like that. I'm like, you know, um, so I'm, I'm glad that I'm able to see now, like as, as soon as I wake up. Like one of the things that I realized, which I didn't before when I was wearing glasses is, before when I used to wear glasses, I'd, I'd do my morning routine, go to the toilet, wash my face, all that kind of stuff, go to the you know, bathroom and everything. But now, you know, I do the same thing, but I look in the mirror, I'll wash my face, look myself in the mirror, I'm like, oh, damn dude, I got wrinkles as hell. You know, and then I'll look at myself, I'm like, oh my God, I'm aging. Whereas before, because I had my blurred vision, I wasn't able to uh, realize, I wasn't able to see that. So that was, um, that was a, that was one of those things, you know, that I noticed and I was like, oh God, I can see everything. I can see everything. One of the things I forgot to mention as well is usually um, when I did wear glasses, on the days that I would have headaches and stuff like that, I would take my glasses off and I've got my blurred vision but it would calm myself down and it would ease my mind, it, you know, I, I felt relaxed. The first few days uh, or week or so after I had my ICL surgery done, um, my eyes, I could, I could realise, were straining quite a bit. And that's because me as a person that is into videography, into the fine arts and all those kind of things, um, every time I'm looking at everything or anything, like the DVD shelf, like the, my brother's DVD collections and stuff like that, or I'm looking at a pen and stuff, I, I usually tend to focus on everything. I tend to focus on the angle, the shading, the um, the structure of the pen, the, you know, the thing itself. And because of that, that tends to strain your eyes. And so, the, uh, you know, post surgery, they, they do tell you don't do that. But the thing is, for myself, I've always done that since I was a child, since I was a kid. So I can't help that. So for the first week or two weeks, I did have like really bad um, like headaches and migraines, which I'm not, I'm a bit of a bitch with headaches as well, you know, like I can't handle them. I'm just like, ah, oh, no, you know, whereas like tummy aches, I can handle that stuff. I can handle that shit, but like headaches, I'm like, nah. I found that really difficult, kind of difficult to deal with because I'm, I'm a weakling for headaches. And then also I didn't know how to like calm my eyes, but then I just had to close my eyes. Like I just generally had to close my eyes and that's it because that was like just, um, blocking my vision whereas you know like I said uh, when I did wear my glasses I would just take my glasses off and I've got blurred vision and that's it fine you know whereas now I haven't got blurred vision but if I'm staring at the wall I'm gonna be looking at the crack on the wall I'm gonna be looking at the little creases I'm gonna be looking at the the paint the, the texture so I just have to close my eyes and then that's that's the way that I'll, I'll have to deal with it but um, they do say you know after your surgery and stuff because your eyes are trying to normalize itself with the whole um, lenses and stuff not to put too much strain not to work and all that but like i said i i myself naturally tend to fixate and and, and focus on things and look at the beauty of little things and stuff and because of that it does strain your eyes a little bit it is a bit, wee bit scary here and there so i've just come back from the um eye clinic and they pretty much gave me a thumbs up saying that my eyes were in good health you know this was my second checkup and um you know my vision during the night as well as the day is going really well um, and I don't have any redness in my eyes um, you know I don't use any eye, eye drops anymore uh, they said to do another checkup in two to three months time and um, like the surgery itself went well a month ago or so um, so everything seems to look good in terms of 
how my eyes are right now um, so yeah if you're thinking about getting laser or ICL surgery I would recommend it but I would say it's also very terrifying because you got to stay awake for the whole procedure so it is that those are one of the main things I suppose I guess if you guys have more questions you know do do comment below and let me know and I'll interact and I'll be honest as I can I just thought I'd share my, share my experience with you guys just because I thought it was quite terrifying and um, I didn't really know anyone that did it or do it and I just because I, you know, I was being quite careless and also I just wanted to do it, I just wanted to treat myself. I, I thought I'd give it a go and it, it seemed to be quite successful for myself. So that's totally fine in my case. Hopefully in like 10 years time or so, they'll, they'll, they'll have advanced their technology. So I could hopefully have better, healthier eye health, I suppose. Whereas at the moment I'm, I'm just doing what I have with these eyes and yeah. But um, do let me know if you guys have any questions. That's it for now. Um, I do hope you guys found this video very informative, educational, um, entertaining. I'm sorry that the vlog is quite scattered. I've not done YouTube in quite a while, so I've not like planned the structure of this video that properly, I suppose. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, you know. So, um, love, peace, and peace, Jundar. Okay. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> subscribe. Sexy.